Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be taking a look at Sunny Sky's newest motor. These are the 20 R2205 2480KV Edge Racing Motors, and this is the light edition. As you can see, it has a lot of weight reduction on the top and bottom, the bell and the um, bottom part where it mounts the arm, so that's really nice. So this should be a nice, light, efficient motor. Um, real quick, if we get into this, you can see the windings are kind of the star of the show in this motor. I'm not sure how well you can tell on camera, but if you take a look, they are actually silver-plated, single-stranded windings. So that's really awesome. Both of those will help increase the efficiency of this motor, so that's really nice. So I'm not expecting it to be a super powerhouse, but it should be smooth and efficient. And if you take a look at the shaft, if you can see it is actually hollow all the way through, which helps increase the strength of it. I believe it is hardened steel. I'm pretty sure it's hardened steel. And if you take a look at the top where the prop will mount, you can see it's ridged there. So that'll help grip the prop even more, which I think is a really cool design. If we take a look on the bottom, you can see once again the all the way hollow shaft. And then the bottom mounting design. Four screw holes, normal 22 size holes. And if you take a look, um, a lot of weight reduction. So I'm not expecting this to be a very durable motor. The top will probably be okay, but the bottom, I'm expecting probably some of these across here if you take a hit to bend. So I'm actually going to mount these with four screws probably to give a little bit of extra strength. But I don't crash that much, so it shouldn't be an issue. But if you're looking for a super durable motor, I definitely wouldn't choose these. Uh, maybe the non-light editions. And they, they call these light editions because they have so much weight reduction, which you can see here. I will now um, weigh this. So... This is a 2205 2480 KV, and it comes out to 27.68 grams. So, once you trim the wires down, I'm going to cut them very short. It'll probably be about 27 grams. So, that'll help in flight to get faster response times to spin up and down the bell faster. So, it'll give you a little bit more torque and more response. So, that'll be really nice for freestyle, um, especially with a light prop like the HQ 5040 Dry, which I really like using. So, that'll be really nice there. If we take a look at the magnets here, they are not N52 series magnets. I believe they're maybe N45 there. You can see they're quite small if you're looking at the bottom down here. I'll try and line it up. So you can see right there the air gap in between the stator and the magnets. You can see it's quite small. They're not arc magnets, so you know like, they're not the best. But once again, not a powerhouse. I'm expecting not to, um, but should be smooth and efficient. With these smaller magnets and the silver plated windings, we should get, I'm hoping for about 1100 grams at 25 amps, but nice and smooth. And these paired with a BL Heli S ESC should really help with that. Um, but other than that, I just really like the physical design of these motors. There's no slop in the um, shafts. I checked all four of them I got, and Banggood actually screwed up and sent me a uh, 2204. Let's focus a 2204 2300 kV edition, which is probably a really good motor, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted more power than that, so I'll have to get a new one. But really nice motors. I plan to use it on my Mini Quad Club Fusion build I have planned. I'm a red themed because they just look so sick. That's why one of the main reasons I got the light edition over the normal, because I think the normal doesn't look very good. Um, but yeah, that's enough for the up-close physical inspection here. Everything looks pretty good, so now let's get it mounted on my thrust stand. And let's do some thrust tests with different props and see how it performs compared to some other things like a Emacs Red Bottom, which weighs in about, I believe it's 31 grams. So this is or 30 or 31 grams. So this is quite a bit lighter, so we should have faster response times for more responsiveness. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are with the thrust stand. So let me just quick explain the apparatus here that we have to test it. So here's our G V2 thrust meter, which will record amperage, wattage, voltage, and um, grams, either in push or pull which is why I have this mount, er, these motor mounting up here, the Edge 2205-2480KV, same as just in the video there. I have the propeller mounted upside down because this will be, it'll still be generating full thrust. It'll just be um, pushing the thrust out this way, so it'll be pushing in, and that'll give us cleaner audio, and it won't push the camera back like I've had before happen by accident. Um, so then that um, is just connected up here to a 20-amp Little B, running BL Heli 14.6 with medium timing. Then these two are batteries are the power. This is Turnigy Graphene uh, 1.3 amps, and they are 65 to yeah 65C Graphene's 4S, and I run both of them in parallel just so we can get the most out of our motor here, the absolute max here. And this is just a 3S that goes through this power distribution board to get 5 volts in here. So 
that's just a way to get five volts. So, and then this has its own internal batteries for that. So let's get everything set up and start testing. All right, here we are with the HQ5040 Tri. Scale is rating zero, so let's crank it up. All right, let me just take a moment to say, wow, those results were not anything like I expected. 1,300 grams of thrust. I was expecting 1,100 off of this. That's an insanely high number. That's pretty much top performance for even 2206 motors. However, if you look at the amp draw, oh my gosh. I was I kept saying how this was going to be an efficient motor with the smaller magnets, silver plated windings, um, but 36.5 amps, that is huge, that is a certain battery buster, that is crazy, and you can see we had 583 watts with a very low efficiency of 2.2 grams per watt, so really high, um, it's definitely I'd say more of a racing motor, I'm going to be using these for a freestyle, but 1300 grams, that is really going to get you around the course quick but it will be a battery buster and um, of course static test uh, amps are higher so probably in flight and, and you're also not going to be maxing your throttle probably around 30 amps. Alright and here we are on a two bladed prop this is the DAL uh, I believe it's the 5045 Bullnose V2 so a two bladed prop here so let's crank it up. All right, so here we are on the DAL 5045 dual bladed, the bullnose version two. Um, so we had 1,243 grams of thrust, still very high up there, a little bit less than the tri blade. We had 31.7 amps, so once again, pre um, still higher than most. However, 31 is a lot more manageable, and on two bladed props, um, you're gonna get more speed. So I feel like if you're going for once again racing, where you wanted all out speed, or you going for a speed record, or whatever, I don't know lower amps on the two bladed props are going to be going faster I think this is a better fit for it however in freestyle I want to use the HQ tries so it's kinda of, I don't know a toss up I might give the two bladed props a shot we had 506 point four watts and a little bit higher efficiency of 2.4 grams per watt alright and now we have the uh, DAL T4045 bullnose tri blade so a four inch bl uh, prop here because the higher KV I thought it'd be interesting to check out on a four inch prop. So let's crank it up. All right, so the results on this prop, which is the DAL T4045 Bullnose Tri Blade, so a four inch propeller, um, they pretty much go along with the five inch results. We've got 1,071 grams of thrust, which is a very good number for a four inch prop, very good number. However, the amps, um, you see 34.06 high amps once again. So I'm thinking this motor, it's labeled as 2480 kV, but I feel like it's like 2700 kV or something, because these amps, it's getting insane thrust, but the amps are just out of there. I don't know. I think it must be a, higher, a lot higher kV than they label it. And 542 watts with an even lower efficiency of 1.9 grams per watt there. All right, so there we go. Those are the results of all the propellers. I was a little bit disappointed, actually. Um, I wanted to, I got the HQ and the uh, two bladed prop here as well as the um, DAL four, four inch prop. Um, I wanted to test the uh, DAL um, T5040 V2 crystal as well. It's pretty comparable to the HQ but I thought I'd give it a try. It's a little bit heavier of a prop. And also the D DAL um, Q5040 quad blade but these DALs wouldn't fit on the shaft. Like they wouldn't go down far enough. The hubs are just a little bit too thin I didn't want to force them because then it'd be really hard to get off. But these three props slide on real nice, and they're fine, But and these two are both DALs as well, but these two DALs did not fit. So I didn't get as many um, props as I wanted to, but I did get a general um, feel of what this was going to do, um, you know, how the motor's performing. It gets pretty high thrust, 1,300 grams, that's awesome. Really high thrust, however, the efficiency is definitely not what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more efficient than that. I got oh, like 34 grams on, or 34 amps or 36 amps on the HQ, which is really surprising to me. And I got about 31 amps, so that's a lot. Probably pushing this little bee up here. It's pretty warm there, but um, you know, and this definitely is a static thrust test. So 
um, in in life dynamic in flying characteristics will be a lot different. The amps will be lower, so instead of 36, you'll probably get about 30. But you know, at peak, but I'll still probably be running these on the HQ. I'll see how my batteries take it because you know this is just you have to take everything with a grain of salt as well as the thrust. It'll be different in flight. But this just gives you some bench numbers. But I still am impressed with the motor. It definitely was a lot more of a powerhouse than I imagined. Um, I'll look up some other results of other motors and just compare it and see what I think. Um, but it definitely looks like it does awesome on 4-inch. Um, I heard somebody say these do good on 4-inch and that, that was pretty impressive there. I think it still had over 30 amps or something. So definitely not as efficient as I was hoping. But lots of power. So if you want power and you don't care that much about durability, these are for you. I just wanted to include this um, little segment here. Once again, this is the um, HQ5040 Tri, so we're doing that again. And this little test, um, I just thought because the motor's getting so much thrust, I thought I would try and replicate thrust like, say, a red bottom would, say around uh, 1,000 to 1,100 grams, and see what the amps are at that. And I think it's quite interesting because, as you'll see, I'll show you the clip in a second here, if, you, if I stop at that thrust, if I don't rev it all the way up, it stays about 27 amps, 28 amps, which is just about what a normal motor would do. It's just if you push it that last little bit and you go over the top to get that crazy thrust, you're going to be bringing on the amps. So just take a look at this. So that was the end of the video. Hope you liked it. I'm going to leave a link down, by, down below to my Patreon. If you enjoyed the video and want to help support the channel and more video like this, you can um, donate down there. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.